Listen, this is 100% the easiest and the laziest way to grow on Instagram in 2024. And it is by far the best way to monetize yourself and make thousands of dollars from your phone. If you wanna learn how to make money from home, super simple and fast, keep watching this video. I even put chapters down at the bottom. So if you've seen the first step or the second step, you can skip to the third and the fourth and so on and so forth. This is the ultimate guide on how to grow on Instagram and how to monetize your page super, super fast. We want to make money online and we want to grow our following. So if you're a content creator or you're looking to be a theme page and you just want to get started in the Instagram world, keep watching this video, man. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's just hop into it. man. Hey, listen, I'm doing a hundred dollar giveaway just like I did in my last video. All you need to do is watch this video fully, screenshot that you watch the full video and then me on Instagram at KY Wavy. It's more on that at the end of the video. If you don't know me, my name is Kyle. I run an Instagram page with over 250,000 followers, a YouTube with over 100K. So I know how to grow on different social media platforms. I've learned the secrets of Instagram's algorithm that a lot of people don't know, but it's actually very simple. So if you want to learn those secrets, man, make sure to watch the full video because I'm going to just be sprinkling them in there throughout the vid. But yeah, let's hop into it, man. See, one of the main problems with growing online on social media platforms like Instagram, TikTok, or YouTube is that there are too many videos and too many resources for you to learn. And you spend a lot of time going through different videos, clicking on whichever video is the shortest or whichever video you feel like will teach you the quickest. But the truth is you need to study for a longer period of time. This video is a long enough duration and it covers so much stuff that if you watch this video fully, I guarantee you, you'll get your first 10K followers, 20K followers, 30K followers super quick rather than if you were jumping around a different video. So if you're serious about growing, stay tuned. Don't leave this video. It's full with so much gold. Trust me. This is part one. I call this the foundation. You're going to want to define your niche. Your niche is your everything on social media. It doesn't matter which platform you're on. For Instagram specifically, you need to define your niche even more. Let's do a case study on an Instagram page like The Shade Room. The Shade Room covers all types of topics like drama, uh, social problems, you know, beefs, things like that. But they have their niche, which is specifically the media, you know, people that are famous, have some clout, things like that. You need to define your niche similar to a page like The Shade Room. My niche on Instagram is the black TikTok and YouTube niche. I post creators that do 20 V2s, you know, 20 women versus one YouTuber, rapper. I post, you know, streamers like Kai Sinat. Uh, sometimes I even throw Aiden Ross in there, but yeah, we just gonna skip, like I ain't say that, but yeah. So we, yeah, I, 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 I don't know. But yeah, I post content like that. Um, I pretty much like to relate my content, what I post back to what, you know, I'm posting on my Instagram. So for example, I used to do vlogs. So I thought of, hey, why don't I post other people's vlogs and other content like that to kind of grow my Instagram. But slowly over time, I realized I wasn't a vlogger. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to make content to help other people make money online. So as you see on my channel, I post videos trying to teach everyone doesn't matter if you're a beginner you know you're 40 years old 10 years old i want to show y'all all the methods that i've learned over the years doing social media full time this is my number one stream of income as of right now i'm not going to cap to y'all i do from anywhere around from 300 to 600 dollars a day on instagram running promos if you want to learn how exactly i find those clients and how i do those promos it's in one of these chapters so hit the chapter down below or just stay tuned don't leave the video i'm telling you it's full of so much gold literally it's super important for your brand to craft a story of its own. Your page needs to have a story, needs to have a body, needs to have some substance. If you go in the shade room, you see that they're posting stories and news context that's really relevant to today. On my page, I post videos that are viral, that are blowing up. People think they're really engaging. I post content that's relevant. If you're in the gaming niche, whatever, you know, if you post Minecraft videos, you want to make sure that whatever you're posting is the most relevant, up-to-date content in your niche. If you post basketball content, if the, you know, the NBA draft is going on, you want to post content about what's relevant in society. You want to keep your niche about what you like. However, make sure to post the most up-to-date content. Talk more about that later. You're going to need to have a really unique identity. You want your page to be something that people can come to and be like, yo, this is the such and such page. People go on my page and be like, yo, that's the YouTuber for you page. I have a distinct name. No one's name on Instagram right now is blank for you page. I was the first person to come up with YouTuber for you page. So when people see my page, they're like, yo, this is Kai's page. He's posted this and this. He just posted Kai Sinan. He just posted, you know, LaMike. He just posted whoever's 20v1 challenge. So you want your page to have a very distinct 
story, very distinct, you know, identity. So when people see it, they know that it's your page. When people see the shade room, they don't say, oh man, look, look it's, you know, ABC news. They say, yo, that's the shade room. They're, you know, I'm gonna see some, I'm gonna see some new, some new beef or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So you want your page to have that effect on people. Now I would say the next step would be choose your platform because these steps that I'm teaching you in the foundation aren't really specifically for Instagram. But if you were not doing Instagram, if you wanted to do YouTube or if you wanted to do TikTok, these steps will also apply. But in this video, you know, choose your platform will be Instagram, but you can still take these tips and once you grow your Instagram, you can apply that to TikTok, apply that to YouTube, whatever you like. However, in this video, we're going to be talking specifically about Instagram secrets and how to hack the algorithm. So keep watching this video, man. I'm telling you, it's full of gold. We're going to hop into part two, which is content strategies for growth. Like I said, I've learned so many Instagram retention secrets that you will also need to know if you if you want to grow on Instagram. It's end of story. It's no debate. You're going to need to know these hacks and these secrets in order to grow. So let's hop right into it. You're going to need content pillars. Content pillars are the most important things that you post about. So like in your niche, for example, if you're a page like The Shade Room, you want to talk about beefs, relationships, and viral content that's happening right now, like news. So for example, you know that those are your top three things they get the most views. So whenever you see a new event or something happens or a new video is posted like that, that is what you'll post about. Now, my strategy to grow on Instagram is a little bit different than everybody else's strategy. My strategy is to repost other people's content. Now you may say, Kai, you're reposting other people's content, bro. Like that's, that's trash. Like that's trash. That's, that's, that's a bad niche. No, 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 no. That's not a bad niche. And I'm going to tell you why that's not a bad niche. If you go on my Instagram right now, don't do it. But if you go on my Instagram, you're going to see that I post viral clips from other people's YouTube videos. Like I said, I'm the YouTuber for you page. I post all of the lit content going on in my niche on YouTube. So how do I find my content? I go to TikTok. Now you may say, bro, so you're taking people's TikToks and you're you know, posting them and you put your name on it. No, I'm not. What I'm doing is I'm reposting other people's content, but I'm tagging them in the video. So it's not copyright. I'm not stealing their content. I'm just giving their content an outlet. I'm giving it more exposure because my page has views. If their content's going viral, I'm sure, you know, they have some views. So my views are just adding to their views. It's not like I'm stealing it and claiming it as my own. No, I'm posting it and I'm tagging them so that they get the people that watch my video going to theirs. That's another great strategy. I do that because it's way simpler to find viral content than to make viral content. Now you might say, Ka, you're taking the cheap way out. Why wouldn't you just post your own content? That's stupid. You're dumb. You're a cheater. You're bro. It's easy. I literally made this video for everyone that thinks growing on Instagram is super hard. It's so easy, bro. It's literally easy. It's insane how easy it is to grow. I started posting other people's clips that were viral and my page multiplied in followers instantly literally it's insane now if you're doing the approach of making your own content these tips and tricks will still work for you i just made the laziest way and the easiest way to grow on instagram in this video so i'm gonna be breaking down how i do that but if you're doing your own content whatever that's perfectly fine that's even better keep watching this video trust me you're going to learn some things that you didn't know if you want to post your own content skip to the next chapter down below so just click that and then go to the next chapter but if you want to do the repost method like i do i'm gonna show you really quick how to find viral TikTok videos and Instagram reels to post. This is what I do. I go on TikTok, I type in whatever videos I want to find. So if you're in the basketball niche to post up, you know, uh, whatever game or uh, whatever basketball player and then hit the little dots and then hit most liked, top liked. You're going to see whichever videos have the most likes in your niche for that search term. Then you're going to want to click that video, hit the copy share link, head to this website, download the video, go to Instagram, and then now you got your first post. But now you caught back up. So we're going to talk about the Instagram secrets to help you grow. These are the main things that have helped propel my success on Instagram. And they're really simple, but most people don't apply them correctly. They don't do it correctly how Instagram intended you to. So I'm going to teach you how to do it in this video because trust me, I want my family to grow. Like y'all watching this video right now are my gang, bro. By you clicking on this video and watching up until this point, you're a part of the family now. So whether you subscribed or not, you my homie, you feel me? But let's, let's just keep going. The number one tip that I can give you is consistent posting. Now, it's not because, you know, you just want to post BS content. You want to post at least three to five videos on Instagram a day. Why, Kai? Why would I post that much? Won't my content be bad if I post 
just five clips? No. The reason that you need to post multiple videos a day is because I don't know if you've ever, ever noticed, right? But if you go on Instagram and see a post one time and you don't like it and you scroll past, in five or 10 minutes, you'll get that same post right back but it'll be a different slide. The same thing applies for Instagram Reels. If I post a Reel and one of my followers sees it and they don't like it, they just scroll past, Instagram will show them another one of my Reels a little bit down on their timeline. So you wanna post as many times as you possibly can so that you can appear on people's explore page, Reels, uh, 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 timeline as much as possible. The more you post, the more potential exposure you get to grow. It's not all about just posting content so that people like it and no, 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 no. You need to post content and get in their face. You need to have your content in their face. Like you need to be up in their grill. You know, the more that they see your content, the better. Whether or not they like it or not, you need them to see your content. They need to see it. Literally, that's it, you need to see it. If they don't see it, they can't like it. The second thing that's super important that almost nobody does on Instagram right now is interact with their audience. When I first started my page, even now, I will post a video, get a comment. I would reply to that comment immediately. I would just respond to whatever they said. You know, if they did a laughing emoji, I'll do a laughing emoji back. You wanna engage with your audience. Anyone that comments on your video is a top 10 W mans. If they commented anything on your page, you need to reply to that comment and either thank them for the comment or just reply to what they said, you know, in however you feel. So like if you post a video about LeBron scoring a three pointer and somebody comments LeBron is trash, be like, nah, he's the goat or something. Just, just, just make it interactive. You want to make your Instagram page seem like an interactive experience. Another tip that took my Instagram to a whole nother level was scheduling content. It's super important that you learn how to schedule content effectively so that no matter what you're doing, if you're at work, you're in school, you're getting a post to your audience. Instagram finally implemented a feature that allows you to upload a video and schedule it for whatever time you want on whatever date that you want, a week, two weeks in advance, whatever. It's the best thing that Instagram has done in a really long time. I use that every single day, literally. So you can find 20 posts or you can create 20 posts. If you're doing your own content, you're doing my method, whichever one you want to do that, schedule the posts, either three to five posts a day for however many days that worth of content that you have. So me, I'll go on TikTok, find 20 videos. I'll post five videos a day for four days. That's 20 videos. Now I have four days worth of content that I just scheduled in one day, so then tomorrow I can go and do the same thing, but for the next four days and for the next four days, so I'll always have a steady flow of content no matter what I'm doing. That's one of the keys for growth on Instagram. Schedule your content, bro. It's literally a hack that almost nobody does because it's so simple and most people don't even know about the feature. You can schedule content, that's lit. Now we're gonna talk about some smaller things like captions and hashtags. Captions and hashtags, honestly, on Instagram are not that important. Now if you're on something like YouTube, your caption, which would be your title is more important, but Instagram is an algorithm that pretty much primary, like they primarily want people to stay on your video for longer. They're kind of like YouTube in that sense at least. But another way to grow on Instagram is by making your videos that you post shorter. I don't know if you've ever, ever peeped, but a lot of Instagram reels that perform really well are short. Why is that? Because if you have a 10 second video and somebody watches eight seconds of it, that's an 80% retention. If you have a minute long Instagram reel and somebody only watches 10 seconds of it, then that's a 10% audience retention. So the shorter the clips that you post, it's more likely that somebody will watch the full clip. If you go on my Instagram at YouTuber for you page and look at some of my best videos, they're like five seconds long, eight seconds long, 12 seconds long. 15 seconds long. The most, the highest that, you know, my viral videos go is probably around the 15 to 16 second round range. After that, all the videos that are 20 seconds up, they do okay, but they're not the viral ones. My most viral clips are all under like 15 seconds because the shorter the video, the longer the view duration, the way better that is for you. Because you're, because that makes Instagram believe that your page is keeping people on their app. Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, their main goal is to just keep people on the app. So if your page can keep someone on the video, hence keeping them on the app, you'll grow because Instagram wants to put you in front of more people in the hopes that your content will do that for more people, thus keeping them on the Instagram app. That's how the algorithm works. Now we're going to talk about getting paid on Instagram. 
a lot of y'all been commenting on my last videos where I talk about this. Like, Kai, I need you to make a more in-depth video. So this is the video for all of my homeboys and all of my homegirls that have been commenting and want me to go in-depth on this. The way that I get paid is not through Instagram. Instagram pays like a slave master. They don't pay anything. Instagram pay is trash. You feel what I'm saying? I get paid from doing promotions. Who do you, who do, you do promotions for, Kai? What is a promotion? A promotion is when a brand a creator, a business, whatever, pays me to post their content on my page. Now you might say, Kai, how do I find people that, you know, want me to post their stuff? It all depends on your niche. My niche, the YouTuber niche, is such a great niche for that because there are new YouTubers every single day that want to get their content out to the masses. So what's a quick way to get your content out to a majority of people, a lot of people? Buy a promotion from someone like me. So I put myself in a niche where I was one of the main producers of content or redistributors of content, I should say. And people come to me when they want to grow their YouTubes or, you know, grow their channels. So what I do is I repost viral YouTube clips, stream clips. People will DM me saying, Kai, how much for promotions? Now I have an automatic bot that sends out, you know, a message right out to them as soon as I get that DM. So I don't even have to respond, but the bot literally just ranks out all of my prices, story posts, page posts. We have it from 24 hour page posts to permanent page posts, whatever. We have the uh, combos. You could get a story post and a page post. If you want to do that, we do bundles, everything. <laughs> How do you grow on Instagram? simple we already did that in the beginning of the video how to make money on instagram this is when we get into the nuts and bolts on how to make real cash on the app because i've made so much money on instagram it's insane and i would never think that in 2024 one of my best ways to make money would be on instagram i would think it would be youtube youtube pays me well but instagram has been just literally insane if you're just starting out and you don't have a super high follower account but you want to start doing promos one thing that i always teach people and i always tell people is to dm creators or DM people that you feel as though would benefit from your services. So for example, I'll give you a whole nother niche. Let's say that you're in the restaurants niche. You post restaurants to have good food in your city. You can DM small restaurants and be like, hey, I'll post your content for 50 bucks. Permanent page post, it'll stay on my page forever and never get deleted. I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but one of my subscribers started, started a page uh, he posts restaurant content just like that. And basically what he does is he charges restaurants. And I, I believe he lives in Boston. He charges restaurants in Boston to post their content and thus, you know, taking people from the Internet into their brick and mortar restaurant. That's a super smart idea if you're doing something smaller, like a like a city or a state or even like a neighborhood. Like if you live in like L.A., like you could just start a page with L.A. Foods and post food from LA, like the viral reels and TikToks that you see. So that would be also a really smart method. It honestly depends on which niche you're in. If you're in like the self-improvement niche, that might be a little bit, little bit harder to find promotions. But if you're in a niche where someone else can make money from your post, then that's a good way. Like that's a good niche to be in, honestly. I also want to throw in a bonus tip that I forgot to say. A crucial part of growing on Instagram is by using a creator account. A creator account allows you to see all of the analytics from your followers, all of the analytics from your videos, everything. If you're just on a regular personal Instagram account, you will not be able to grow like someone who's on a professional account. Now, the reason I'll do a creator account and not a business account is because business accounts do not get copyrighted music. Creator accounts do. So if you're posting an Instagram reel, you're going to need, you know, whichever song is popping right now to be a sound in the background. But if you're using a business account, they only get the default Instagram reels, non-copyright music that no one wants to listen to. So use a creator account, not a business account. That's a really big mistake that I see so many people make is that they use business accounts and not creator accounts. Creator account is the way to go. Trust me. So back to the money. <laughs> I would DM those small creators and small restaurants, small businesses, small brands, whatever, and just obviously make your prices a little bit cheaper just to start out. Like mines now are super high, but when I was first starting out, I would charge, you know, $10 for a story post or like $15 for a page post or $10, whatever. Like I would charge lower than I do now, obviously. If you want, you know, a video talking about which prices are the best, 
know what? I'll just put it in this video if I'm just being honest with y'all, bro. If you're just starting out and you have less than 50,000 followers, I would charge anywhere from five to 10, maybe even $15 for a story post. That depends if your story is actually active. If you have a lower follower count, people will want to see how many views your story gets, right? If you have under 50K, you're going to need an active story at least somewhere in the two to 5K range to even think about doing promotions. Maybe more than that, that will be better. But realistically, if you're at 50K, you might get two, five, 2K, 5K, maybe, maybe six or 7K. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, maybe. <clears throat> now for your page post, if you're under 50K, I would say do like 20, $25, something cheap. You know, nothing too expensive. Now, once you pass 50K, you're in between 50 and 100, then I will boost my page post up to like 40, 50 bucks. And then my story post up to like 30, 35 bucks. And once you pass over 100K, honestly, bro, you can you can charge whatever you want. But when you're under 100,000 followers, it's really important that you don't charge too much because some people will not look at it as a valuable investment, even though it is because exposure is always valuable. Some people won't see it like that. So a lot of people have been asking me for the prices. I honestly haven't known whether or not to make a video just about prices because I never felt like it was that important. But if you want to know what to charge in your, you know, on your posts, I just gave it to y'all, man. So you can honestly take what I said with a grain of salt and then adjust it for whatever you like. But me personally, if I was just starting a brand new page and I had under 50K, I would not charge anyone over 15 bucks for a story post because they're going to look at me like I'm crazy. Just being honest. Now, you may say, bro, how am I going to make money if, you know, I have... 10k followers and i only charge five dollars for a story post grind because the more that you post the better content that you post you'll grow and over time you can increase your prices you know what i'm saying you'll get there now i always say if you want to learn more if you want one-on-one -on -one coaching i'm not going to charge you one-on-one -on -one coaching whenever i can respond i'll respond to your dms hit me up on instagram i have probably realistically i'm not going to lie to y'all probably around 50 to 100 people dming me every day just talking about this so i'm getting back to y'all as fast as i can but if you want to dm me for like some free advice feel free my instagram my personal instagram is ky wavy same as my youtube now if you want to you know expedite your whole process you can go down in the description below and then hit the first link and then that'll take you to you know some secret sauce but if you want some free tips and stuff like that just you know just dm me on instagram it's really just that simple man all right so shout out to the first giveaway winner man you totally deserved it he started a brand new instagram page that was pretty much posting content about sports i like sports i picked you and you were also like the second or third person you know to watch the video and send me the screenshot and everything so shout out to you if you want to win a hundred dollars just like i did in my last video all you need to do is comment down below one thing that you learned comment your Instagram handle, and then DM me on Instagram with a screenshot of you watching the full video. I'm gonna be giving away $100 to the first person to do that. And then don't worry if you're watching this video two days late, three days late, a week late, a month late, I'm still doing the giveaway. Just DM me a screenshot that you watched the full video and I'll be picking I'll be picking people randomly over the course of time, you know, until I forget. But realistically, over the course of time, because I'm still picking winners from the last video and I'm just giving them like 50, 25 bucks, 35 bucks, anything helps, you know what I'm saying? I just wanna help the community out since y'all helped me and I love y'all, so y'all my gang, so I'ma just help y'all as much as I can. So even if you're watching this video, you know, two weeks down the line, a month down the line, screenshot this, send it to me on Instagram, and then yeah, I'm still gonna give y'all boys the giveaway. So we just gonna do it like that, man. I don't wanna take up too much of y'all time, I lay y'all to death. Thank you so much for watching this video, man. It's your boy, Kyle Wavy, and I'm going, gang, peace.